Well, we're hoping students gain a better understanding of, of the power requirements for electric vehicles. Everybody thinks it could be really simple. You just take a battery and stick it in the car. Well, it's a lot more complicated than that. And there are a lot of di design considerations, including weight, performance, um, and, and the cost of all of the technology. I feel like this is uh, the design we have right now. Will really, it's really going to help consumerize the car. Um, if everything turns out like we want it, it's going to be a, the main focus of it is the cost savings approach. So hopefully in the long run, this will actually make the electric car more affordable. I actually got into studying alternative fuel sources um, my second or third year, and I got into alternative fuel sources, and then when, once the electric car got some steam behind it, um, I became interested in that and started researching that. And so when this opportunity came across, I was like, yes, that's what I want to work on. That's a great idea. So I was really excited that the university was doing this, and I was glad to, and happy to be a part of it. Uh, one of the neat things about this electric vehicle project is there, there's an infinite list of projects that can be done for this car. We, uh, all of the systems in a car need to be changed when the vehicle becomes electric. Uh, the, the headlights, the old style headlights, use a lot of electric power. Well, we could reduce that power dramatically by using LED type headlights. So the same thing people are doing in their homes now to reduce energy use is replace regular lamps with uh, compact fluorescents or with even more in the future, the LED lamps, they're a little more expensive. So we'll want to do that with this vehicle. That reduces the drain on the battery so that the range can be further. 